that is a universal one in which I keep buying books even though I have a Kindle and I have a lot of books I haven't read. Why, why are we this way? I went to Barnes & Noble today because I just really, like I love going to my curated bookstore that I have near me, but I love going a little bit further to a Barnes & Noble because it's just like the Mecca, you know? And in my lifetime, I've seen a lot of Barnes & Nobles go bye-bye and um, I just really wanted to support this one because I want to stay and I love, I love a bookstore. So anyway, all that to say, I went and I got a thriller, a little romance sport book, it's kind of becoming my new personality at this point, and um, just a really feel good kind of romancy book and then another fantasy book. So um, currently the romance is The Wall of Winnipeg and Me, already started it. Got my is that is that smut bookmark because the Lord is what he knows. So started that um, can definitely tell it's going to be a slow burn. Um, this other YouTuber I follow, Taylor Tippett, read another book by her that just came out, and I knew I recognized the name, and then I saw this because I heard about this one from my sister, and I was like, mm, I'm going to read this one first. So. And then um, for the thriller, Home Before Dark by Riley Sager. One of my first reads of this year was um, Behind Every Door or Lock Every Door by him. And I honestly loved it. Like it was such a good read to start the year. I thought it was a great thriller. So um, I know he can be kind of hit or miss, at least from what I've seen on Goodreads. But this one looked intriguing and I breezed through thrillers and I haven't really read one in a while. So I'm excited about that. And then I've heard amazing things, amazing reviews about Love and Other Words. So that one's just going to be a really good sit and feel good, but I'll probably read this one last. I'm just, I don't know. I just finished a fantasy book and it's just so much world building that you, I can't read it fast. And I love to read a book quickly. So I kind of want to get back into a book that I'm just like, me, me, me you know, mindlessly going through. But then I also, speaking of fantasy, got this one. I've been seeing a lot of things about it that it's very Game of Thrones meets Hunger Games meets what have you, um, called The Fourth Wing. And look at, oh my gosh, look at this on the side. Pretty cool. I got a little book stamp from the library of, and it has a little butterfly on it. Um, and it is just the cutest little thing. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Look at her. It's the little things in life, truly. So, it's been a lot of money that I, you know, did not have to spend, but, um, you know, what's that manifesting thing everyone's talking about? It'll come back to me. It'll come back to me. We are mostly through the month of May, trying to slowly get back into, like, loving on my home, taking care of my space, really reading, which that hasn't changed, no matter what. Um, and just finding my rhythms and routines again. But if you can tell, I moved the table. So like, now I'm facing this way. I kind of like it for the space. It makes more sense. I'll show you a clip of it. But so just little things like that, that kind of just like help it feel new. Where I work has a lot of cutie restaurants and it is tempting to go spend money. Alrighty. Oh, we still have an Olipop left. Praise God. Need a little treat. having a 
sandwich with strawberries and some pretzels. Like this is literally a lunch my mom would make me when I was a kid. And there's something honestly oddly comforting about that. So I love that for me. I don't normally deviate from my go-to orders, but I was feeling it today because I haven't gotten kava in a long time because what I normally get just had like such a distinct taste that I was just tired of it. So I'm trying some newer things this today. Like I've never gotten, the one thing I'm crazy, I've never gotten the crazy feta. I have the shuduk kug dressing. Honestly, oh my god, I'm crazy. I'm crazy that I've never tried these things before. So good. Holy man. Oh my gosh. Okay, I have an issue. Today is McLean and I's two year anniversary. That is not the issue. That's an awesome, beautiful, amazing thing. Very excited to be celebrating that with him. But as a gift, he got me concert tickets to see Dermot Kennedy, who was like my all time. Like love him, probably one of my favorite artists. Like always have wanted to see him, haven't been able to make it work. Plus no one comes to Orlando. So, but he's here today on the day of our two anniversary. So it's just like, it feels, it feels very special like fate, whatever. But the problem is it's a general admission concert, which normally with general admission concerts, I just show up, get a drink, whatever, try to not stand on top of somebody or have somebody stand on top of me. But the problem with him being like my all time is like, I really want a good seat. But I'm like, not the camp out girl. Like I don't go early to things. Like I don't, like I don't know what to do. Like I'm like, do I just go get a portable charger and some snacks and just like go now? Like. Is he big enough for that? I don't know. Like I genuinely like am having to really think about like, what do I want to do? I think my strategy is that I'm going to go, if doors open at 6.30, I think I'm going to go around like 3.30 or 4. And I think I'll still be able to get a good seat. And if I have to like, you know, a little, you know, maybe. It's just a bummer. Like I truly like, I've seen people in concert that I like love, 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 but it's been like a signed seat. So like not much you can do about it, whatever. It's like whatever you want to pay. But for one set fee, just to be like, good luck. I hope you get a good seat. I'm like, Ugh. I just care so much about like being able to actually see him because I love him. 
And I know a lot of people going tonight probably love him too, but they don't love him like I love him. So <laughs> I'm just like, mm. so stay tuned. I'll keep you updated on where I end, where I end up. But um, yeah, I'm just not the camp out girl, but there's a first time for everything. Got some groceries this morning, some coffee, post-concert. Can't get all your groceries at one place anymore, so we went to Whole Foods and Trader Joe's. And here's my assistant. Ah, hello there, audience. <laughs> but I clearly got some purple flowers, mm -hmm. my favorite color, so my other ones are very dead. We're going to you from looking at them. I'm also sorry if the lighting is adjusting. You're right in front of a big window, and it's morning, so the sun is doing its thing. Strawberries, broccoli, broccoli, baby carrots. Do you want to start to um, tear those down for me? Yeah, that's what I'm going Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to wait until he's done in there. So just... okay. Too many cooks in the kitchen. <laughs> It's a fight for your life, like in the parking lot, all that situation. I feel like it's like that at every Trader Joe's I've been to. But this one, I felt like I had time to just meander the aisles, see what there was to see, and they kind of did their rearrangey thing, so I was like, everything felt new. So um, I felt like I could like kind of be a little bit more creative, if you will, and buy some things like that I haven't done in a while, or like because normally I'm in there, I'm just like, I just have, I just want to get out of here, like it's stressful, all that kind of stuff. So I was able to kind of look around and like get some things that I maybe I might not have normally gotten. So one of them being these frosted little mini wheats. So I was a huge cereal girly when I was a little little baby girly. I loved cereal um, and now as an adult I'm realizing like how much I've slept on it because sometimes I'm just hungry and you don't want a full meal or you don't want the effort of a full meal but you also don't want just like a little some pretzels you know. So pretty excited about that. Um, I definitely, I was, when I was a girl, I was like, can I have mini wheats? Like, I was not the Frosted Flake Captain Crunch girl. Um, apparently, I just thought I was better than everyone. I don't know. Or just trying to get my cholesterol in check very young. And then, I don't check the frequent flyer as much as I should. I should be better about that because they have some really cool stuff. But thankfully, they kind of put those signs around the store. But I was stopped by this pineapple juice, sparkling pineapple juice. And I think they have a watermelon one as well, like some other kind of sweet fruit option. But it looks really good on its own, but I also think it could be a cool mixer for like a cocktail or something fun. So it just felt like summer to me, so I wanted to get it. Pretty standard haul, nothing crazy, but just excited about those little things. Um, and it feels, like I said, it feels, sorry, I have like an eyelash in my eye. And it's been like assaulting me all day. Like I feel like it'll be gone and then all of a sudden it'll come back and it's like a stabbing pain and I'm like, ah, apologies. I think we're in a good place. Okay. But yeah, the concert last night was fun. I'm really glad we went. It was so, so good to see him. We did, I did go early. We waited. I probably stood for an equivalent of five hours last night. I slept like the dead. I was so tired. My feet hurt so bad. So, um, but it was really sweet to see him. Like I definitely got emotional, cried um, a little bit. The only bummer was the crowd. The crowd was like so like trashed, gross. Like, I mean, I've watched girls like that had to be carried off by security. Like some girls passed out. And I'm just like, for those who know his music, like that's not his vibe. That's not the vibe. Going forward, a concert probably won't be how we celebrate our anniversaries because it's just not 
like the best quality time even though you're standing right next to the person it's not like you're like hey how's it going you know so um, lessons learned lessons learned but um, yeah I may end this video here uh, thank you for following me around some fun random days um, I'm so glad you're here and thank you so so much for watching it means the world to me um, I really want to keep doing this kind of the creative endeavors it helps me with the stress of my job and just to have something a little outlet so I appreciate you thank you so so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one Thank you.